You're watching TJV with Trucker Josh and his sidekick, Diesel. Enjoy the show. Good day, good day, good day, Diesel. Anything to say to the good people first thing this morning? Come on, speak right into the mic. Speak into the mic. Speak into the mic. Nothing? Fine then. Good morning, everybody. We're here in... St. Agath, Manitoba. This is where we stopped last night as far as we made it. We have 1,525 kilometers to go for about... What is that? 600 and some miles? No, it's not 600 and some miles at all. No. No. Well, let's figure this out for you Americans right now. Let's do some math for you. You're getting me to do math first thing in the morning. Must mean I really like you. Divided by 1.61. <coughs> 947 miles. To Hobart, Indiana, where we're bringing our lumber that I showed you yesterday, if you watched yesterday's video. We got a bit of a hike. We're not gonna make it all the way there today yet. We're gonna make it there tomorrow afternoon and I'm not sure what my reload is going to be. There was a, um, ah, mosquito. Oh no, no. No, you are not allowed in here. No, no. There you go. Good mosquito's a dead mosquito. There we go. Know what I'm saying? <clears throat> uh, there was a possibility of uh, a reload, but it was like 52,000 pounds, and it's a little too heavy for me to pull on a tandem trailer and in the U.S. for their axle weights. So, uh, we turned that one down. But there will be another one. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll see what happens. We'll get as far as we can today, and we'll do the rest tomorrow. Here we go! Gonna just thread the needle through the pumps here to get out. I don't got to fuel up here. I'm fueling up in the U.S. where prices are, you know, tolerable. Not up here where, you know, I've got to pay taxes through my fuel to save the entire planet. So no thank you. I will avoid that and just fuel in the U.S. Just rolling through the scale here in Moorhead, Minnesota. Just turned on to Interstate 94. We're going to be headed into, uh, well, through Minnesota into Wisconsin. Still planning on making it to around Black River Falls, Wisconsin tonight. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And then I've got to determine what route I'm going to take. I want to avoid the tolls in Illinois, but by the looks of it, I'm running a little tight on time, which means I might have to take the toll way down there. Maybe I can avoid them on the way back up. Pretty expensive for a truck. We'll see what happens. I might be able to avoid a few of them and take I-88 in instead of taking the, the 94 in. Like once you hit uh, hit Illinois. But well, we'll see. Don't have to worry about that today yet. For now, let's just worry about getting as far as we can, as fast as we can today. Well, we're rolling down the highway here, coming up to Minneapolis in about a little over an hour. Around 83 miles from Minneapolis, according to the last sign we passed just a little while ago. It's a beautiful day out. Nice and warm. Good day to be a trucker. Good day to be looking for cows, right, Diesel? How's my little cow watcher over there? Find any good ones? And we passed some brown cows, we passed some black cows, some white cows, some black and white cows. All kinds of cows. Cows are Diesel's favorite. Hey Diesel, you like cows? Horses? Yeah? All kinds of farm animals. He's never seen a goat before though. I wonder what he'd do with a goat. Hey Diesel, you know what a goat is? You probably like them. They're like dogs with hooves and horns. Screaming dogs with hooves and horns. They yell a lot. Maybe one day we'll have a goat. I don't know. Probably not. So, uh, like I was saying, the day's been great. Nothing too extravagant to report on. Everything's just going as normal, you know, people not knowing how to merge. 
driving all over the place, cutting me off, driving while they're texting. Quick rest stop break and we're good to keep going. So I took my half hour break today in, uh, oh, what's that town called again? Rose, not Rosemary. We, we always stop there, one sec. We always stop there for coffee on the way through. It's just into Minnesota by Fergus Falls. What's it called again? Uh, Rothsay, there it is. Rothsay, Minnesota, took my half hour break there. And I've still got Lego sand with four and three quarter hours remaining, so I got some time yet. I'll get into what's going on. I'm getting tired today, though. I didn't sleep very good, I guess. I got used to being at home, and it takes a little bit of adjustment after that to get used to the truck. But we'll be okay. We'll just get around the big city today, at least, so that we can uh, not worry about that tomorrow. Find a nice parking spot in Wisconsin somewhere. Fun fact though, uh, we're at 998,000 kilometers. So in 2,000 kilometers or in about two days, this truck is gonna roll over 1 million kilometers. I got into this truck at about 700,000, 720,000 I think it was at when I got into it. So I put a few kilometers on this thing already. Uh, 1 million kilometers would be, uh, let's see, Divided by 1.61 would be about 621,000 miles. One million, the big one mil. These Volvos are known to go for a, usually around three million kilometers, which is about two million miles before people retire them. But they, they can go longer than that if you want to keep, you know, replacing the parts. It's just things get old after a while and uh, technology advances and uh, you want to get yourself into a new truck because soon the costs of fixing the old truck outweigh the costs of paying for a new truck that has warranty. We'll see. My next truck I want to be a Kenworth W900 W900L with an 86 inch studio sleeper with a what, 285 inch wheelbase. Is that the maximum wheelbase we can have in Canada now? It used to be 244. They upped it to 285 or 284, something like that. Or is it 283? Somewhere in there. Anyways, I want the maximum wheelbase allowed in Canada, the studio sleeper, and chrome and chicken lights. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful thing of majesty. But that's a ways down the road yet. We're working our way towards that. This is just the... I keep trying to release the brakes. The brakes are already released. This is just the... Uh, a truck to get us there. This truck is not like a truck that I show off at truck shows or anything. This truck strictly just a tool to get the job done to me. My real truck's coming in the future one day. Let's get out of here. I mean, these trucks are nice. I really like the Volvos for the space they have inside in the interior. It's the one thing I like the most about them. And they're very popular, which means that they're, the parts are reasonable. Uh, reasonably easy to find but there's just nothing quite like a good old classic truck either like a, a long nose peaked or a Kenworth the W900L there's just nothing that beats that that is the epitome of trucking so I want that truck one day hopefully we'll get it we'll see see what life brings us but for now we'll just keep trucking with what we got not like this is a bad truck it's a good tool it does the job it's comfortable Menominee rest area I'm gonna get my time clock straightened out here we're stopping around 10 30 in the evening just so that I'm not working till all hours of the night and sleeping late 
hope there's parking here. Nice. All these people parking all the way out here already. I don't want to park all the way out here. Which way is trucks? Trucks this way. Yikes, it looks pretty full. Shoot. Oh wait, I can park right here. You know what? I'm gonna park right here in front of this guy. Yep. Be a nice quiet night this way. Right back here. And that way I don't gotta worry about any neighbors or anything. Beautiful. And that counterclockwise motion we were talking about yesterday. Saving the money. All right, let's tell the world here that we're uh, about to do our post trip. Go and check the truck, make sure nothing broke throughout the day, make sure no tires fell off, make sure my fuel tanks are still attached, you know, the usual. Make sure nothing, nothing's going wrong. I'm kind of tired and that's why I stopped a little earlier today. I wanted to go at least to Black River Falls, but uh, I figured, you know what? If we stop now, it's 10.30, I can get going 8.30, 8.45 tomorrow. I really don't like being on the road and starting late and ending late, because then it's very hard to find parking spaces, right? At the end of your day. And I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow, because uh, I'm not gonna make it by tomorrow. They wanted it to get it tomorrow or the next day, and it'll be the next day, unfortunately, because they, they go home at three o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm gonna get there probably at 3.30. So, I guess we're just going to take it easy. I don't know where we're gonna sleep, but the, the closest truck stops to our delivery would be in Gary, Indiana, but I don't want to sleep in Gary, Indiana because Gary, Indiana is dangerous. Everybody knows that. It's widely known. It's a bad place to spend the night, but that's where a, a whole pile of gigantic truck stops are. So a lot of people do spend the nights there and the overwhelming majority of them have no problems, right? But if something bad is gonna happen at a truck stop, there's a good chance it will happen at Gary, Indiana. The other rough truck stops I, I've heard of are in like San Antonio, Texas, but we never go down there. I wish I would go down to, not for that reason, but I'd love to go down and see Texas again. I, I miss the South. I told you that yesterday already too. I really wish I could go and just spend some time down there. Uh, next summer, Britt and I have plans, not set in stone yet, but uh, we have some plans to definitely do our best to get down to Virginia. Southern Virginia to go see our friends Moses and Colleen and their little baby Jada. Uh, we really wanted we wanted to see them this year already, but since our roof, everything with our roof that's going on, we got to spend like twenty grand into that by the end of the summer. So nothing worked out this year. That's that's why everything's been put away and put off. We just went to the beach a couple of times on the weekend, but next summer we want to make it more fun we had to work our butts off this summer to make money to pay for this expensive roof that's going to protect the rest of our investment but once that's on we're going to spend next summer having some fun we're going to take our our camper out to virginia we really hope so and who knows maybe uh we'll jut down the coast to florida maybe we'll drop down uh by jade and john's house there stop in say hello I don't know. That would be a very long trip, but that would be pretty cool if we could do that. Uh, we also want to go to Washington State because my friend Troy and his fiancée fiance, <laughs> and his fiance Angie are getting uh, getting hitched soon. And I'm not too sure when. There's a guy walking up beside my truck right now. What do you want? He looks like you. Keep walking, buddy. Keep walking. Creepy. Diesel, who's that? Hey, you missed it. Hey, Diesel, you missed it. Diesel? Diesel? <whistles> Don't scare me like that. Get up here, man. Come here. She freaks me out because he's such an old boy. Come here, you... 
Ah, you weren't moving. It didn't look like you were breathing. Don't freak me out like that. Come here. Holy bonkers, man. Bad words coming out of my brain right now. Jeez, I thought you were... Oh. You okay? You feeling all right? Freaks me out. You missed that. Somebody walked right past the truck. Man, you must have been in a deep sleep. Oh, you weren't moving. I couldn't even see your chest breathing, man. Freaked me out. I'm getting old. Oh, man. Freaked me out. Anyways, what was I talking about? Totally forgot what I was talking about now. Oh, oh well. I'm tired. Time to go to sleep. I'm going to have to send in an email that I'm not going to make it tomorrow. That I'll have to deliver it in the morning. Good thing I don't have a reload yet, so that won't affect anything. Shuckins, as my dad, my dad would say. Shuckins. <laughs> Anyways, sorry, I'm just blabbering on here. I'm boring you at the end of my video. So if you're still here, give the video a thumbs up. If you did like it, a thumbs down. If you thought it was junk. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. The little bell if you want to be notified when my videos go live. All my videos are also mirrored on BitChute. Uh, my channel there is, uh, what is it, bitchute.com slash channels slash TJV. It's just TJV. There's no logos or anything attached to it right now. I'm just starting to mirror all of my videos onto BitChute so that uh, there's a record of them so that if YouTube ever, you know, goes kaput or something happens that... Uh, there will be another place where you can go to watch my videos. But anyways, see you tomorrow, everybody. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good night. And don't scare me like that again, Diesel. Jeez, man. Not cool. Hello, everyone. I'm Trucker Al from Rochester, New York. And when I'm not driving, I'm watching Trucker Josh on TJV. And you should, too. Be safe out there.